got another 5 a.m. adventure. The ferry has been closed for the last few days, so we're here in hopes that the ferry is running today. We're not 100% sure, and we don't even have tickets. The locals said to just come here and kind of hope for the best, and hopefully some people don't show up, and then we can get on the ferry to go to Coron to take a flight to Cebu, because our flight is today at what time? Plus at 12.30. But the thing is, this all hinges off the Coast Guard. The Coast Guard will tell us soon if we can even go, if the like, ocean is good. We're taking a chance and hoping the Coast Guard says yes. We've been hanging out for a couple days waiting to go, but fingers crossed. Cool, let's go like yeah, darn it. Yeah. Canceled, man. Yeah. So now we're gonna miss our flight today. So now we have a couple options. Do we stay here and try to do some tours or something, or do we go back down to Puerto Princesa and uh, try to catch a flight out of there to go to Cebu? So. All right, so a little update. We finally figured out our lives. We finally got a plane, and we're on our way to Cebu. It only took like a seven or eight hour drive from El Nido to Puerto Princesa, and then now we've actually got a flight. We bought a flight in the airport. We and made it, it in time. And it, was and it was cheap. We made it in time. We like got to the airport with legit like half an hour to spare, but we made it, and we're finally gonna do other things. We're gonna do Cebu. Okay, cool. See you in Cebu. We are currently on a ferry. We're going from Cebu to Tagbilaran, Tagbilaran to some other place. We just forget the name right yeah, now. Yeah, Baglao, Serglao, Chigao. I don't know. Something with a glau. It's gonna be about a two hour ride, so hopefully no one gets seasick. Ah, it says observe cleanliness. Go ahead, Rob. Observe the cleanliness. No, no, observe me, because I am clean. You are clean. Cleanly shaven? Oh yeah. Wow, jawline tings. <laughs> Got lots of cleanliness though? Yeah, I'm gonna test all the dust. Nothing. Still nothing. Wow. Even he's clean. It's so observable of you. <laughs> so it's a little bit cold here. It's the only time that we've actually had to put on our sweatshirts. I thought I would never use it the whole trip, but I'm actually I'm actually glad because I'm wearing my sweats and my sweatshirt. Well, they're like dance sweats, but like you know, glad to finally use them. Yeah, it's not just taking up space. Grab's got his. I'm freezing. Rab's freezing. I, I think Rab's cold. I mean, I'm better now with, with my suitcase on top. Yeah. All right, so we're all checked into our uh, new hotel. So it's pretty lit. They're gassing up in the back. Rented some motorbikes for two days so we don't have to worry about it. We're gonna try to get another night at this place because we like it and it's in a decent location. We're gonna go and see some Tarsiers. Tarsiers. Tar they're like these little monkeys that are super, super cute. And after that, we're gonna go and see a firefly sanctuary. I don't know. We've only seen fireflies once in our life and that was like three days ago when we were in Palawan and we only saw like two. Uh, so we're super stoked about today. Finally out and doing something after traveling and trying to get things figured out. Uh, so yeah. And I look freaking sexy. Hey. All right so after a fun but kind of sketchy bike ride over to the Tarsier Sanctuary we have arrived at the Tarsier Sanctuary. Join us and the Tarsiers. See the first one? All right, so some fun facts about the Tarsiers. I'm gonna still talk kind of quiet because we're sort of nearby where they live, but uh, they're about the size of your fist, but they can jump five meters, which is pretty far. And the babies are the size of your thumb. Mm -hmm. It's like mama and like, little baby chilling. 
and yeah. in captivity they will commit suicide by holding their breath. So this one was outside. It's their natural habitat where they want to be. During the day they'll leave and they can travel up to 1.5 kilometers per day and they just come back because they're very territorial. And then also we got the most perfect gifts ever for our mom because they have like little Tarsier stuffed animals so we got one more from Tarsier. Yeah. And, and then there's mama. And then six baby six tucks. Six babies! Because we are six kids. Yeah. So Cause if you didn't know there's six kids in our family so mama and her six kids she can hang them on our window by our desk and have our six little monkey babies. Yeah. Also yeah. fun fact uh, the Tars ears are quite like us when we mate because um, they last about five to seven seconds and then they're done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just like humans. Just like us. No, just just like Gage only. Excuse me. <laughs> that wraps up the Tarsier tour. Now we're off to see some fireflies. Let's go. Woo! All right, this drive has been absolutely beautiful. And so I wanted to stop a couple times to show you guys. So this is one of those times, so check it out. It looks, it looks so much cooler. Hey. The fires are not that beautiful. The fires aren't very beautiful, but I think they're burning like trash and stuff, so. What's up? What's up? <laughs> it looks okay. It looks so much cooler in person, trust me. What have we here, Rob? The fire. Does it taste good? Yes, it does. The fire. Alright, so we scooted on over to the Firefly spot, but it, uh, we were like four hours too early. It opened up at 7, we got there at 3.30, so we asked them where's a good spot to eat, and they recommended this place, Magafania, or Macafania, Esplanade, I don't know. Yeah, so we're gonna get, get, like, get some food, hang out for a little bit, and then go see some Fireflies. All right, the best time of day has arrived. Fruit platter. The fruit platter. This is a solid 150 pesos, which is three American dollars. Three American dollars for some lovely mangoes, some delicious watermelon, and some bananas. Oh my goodness. I would like to explain that this one, it took some time because <laughs> it has to be fresh. The coconut milk has to be fresh. Okay. So you have to run to the market to buy the coconut milk. Okay. Yeah, see, we, we can't store it in a day, guess what? Makes sense. Yes. Someone yes. ran all that way just for us? Yes. Oh, thank oh you. my gosh. I'm sure you. Thank you so Enjoy much. You. Yes. Thank you. This is a whole ass fish. Wow. He texts me. He's got a little <laughs> mouth on it. <laughs> Kind of look like the fish there for a second. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get that too, but I'm glad in because I wouldn't know where to start. Oh, yeah. <laughs> where do you yeah. start? And then what is this? This is a what Pinak is it? Pinak bed. Pinak bed. Pinak bed. Pinak bed. I got the same Pinak. thing. It's like a local veggies native to the Philippines. So there's okra, uh, I think sweet potato, um, other stuff that I'm blanking on right now, but it looks delicious. Oh, oh, um, eggplant. Eggplant. Nice. Yeah. Let's eat, boys. So explain how to eat it, Gage. Apparently, Filipino style. There's a bone in my mouth. So apparently you like scrape off some of the skin, and then she said Filipino style, you just kind of use your hands and take off the meat and eat it. So hmm. I think that's what we'll probably end up doing. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Ooh, it's super good though. It's oh my really goodness. Really good. I didn't know this is what a tilapia looked like. I've only seen it yeah, same. Like, cut. Oh, eating it with your hands is nice. That real deal, bro. Mm. Yeah, when we asked her, like, um, how do you eat this? I was not expecting her to say 
just with your hands. It's finger food. It's really good though. This is an experience. All right, so here's some, some action shot. You just peel the skin away. Boom, boom, Whoa, chunk of fish. Chunky. Wow, it's very hot on my hands. Kind of burns. I'm just powering through in it, making it look like nothing's going on, but this really hurts. <laughs> Here's the aftermath. We mess these meals. Ugh. Forget it. Mm -hmm. So delicious. This is so far. This is probably one of my favorite dinners of the trip. Yeah, same. Whoa, look at the sunset right it's now. It's almost as pretty as Kane's Bay. I see no difference. <laughs> if you're in the Loai area, come to Makafania. This place was really, really good and everyone was super duper nice. Okay, so we stopped. We saw some people playing some basketball on this course, so we decided to see if we could um, come and play with them. Please let it go. Hey! Yeah, my team won. Perhaps team lost. In, in my defense, I have no idea how to actually play, so I was a major handicap for my team. But I, I did make one point, that was my only goal, so. Nice. <laughs> Yo, I got crazy blisters on both feet. Damn. I think I got a blister because I was playing in sandals the no, whole time. Like, it's crazy because like, everyone is playing in chunklas, bro. Like, so hard. But, but yeah, still a ton, a ton of fun. Now we're gonna go watch some fireflies. Oh yeah. All right, so we are now on this little raft boat thingy yeah. and we're gonna see some fireflies we've like never seen fireflies except earlier on the trip we saw like two on this little one. lake this little stream but like we're pretty excited to actually get like a real full-on firefly experience so here in philippines uh filipino believe that if there's a firefly in that tree it could mean that the tree is enchanted <laughs> or there's an entity residing in that tree that's why we say tabi tabi po as a way of asking permission and respect to those entities so the male firefly blinks their light every two seconds and the female blinks their light every five seconds. Yes. Try to get that gauge house in his head. Oh my god. Oh, oh it's gone. So please Farewell. avoid necessary movement. <clears throat> so the, the firefly eats uh, honey, pollens, and flowers. And sometimes they eat other fireflies. Do they get brighter if they eat another firefly? <laughs> Whew. Okay, we are finally back in the hotel. Crazy day today. Uh, we oh, yeah. rented <clears throat> motorbikes and then we used those motorbikes to go do cool stuff. And then on the way home, it was pretty sketchy. Halfway home, so we're like a line of four, four motorbikes. All of a sudden we see like this huge ox Cross the road and then like Not almost like, the road, like jumping, jumping, rampaging, rampaging across the road. <laughs> yeah, it was so intense. Out of control. An Out of on, control. Like an oncoming scooter almost hit it. It was like Skrr! Skrr! yeah, and then and then it was like going everywhere. Gage passed like super successfully, but like Keen Tag and I were like right in, there. We were in sketch zone. It, it could was easily <laughs> have like. Bucked into us. It was charging so directly at me. I mean, then too. swerved away. Like, yeah, it was super scary. And like, yeah, it was just like a lot of lights for that poor cow. And I just felt so bad. But like, it was almost bad. We almost got trampled like hard. That would be crazy. But the, the uh, cow's fine, to our knowledge at least. It, cow's yeah, fine. It we're didn't fine. Hit, we're fine. It, like people, but we're not sure if it got caught. I'm, I'm assuming it, it, it got caught. So yeah, it was an exciting day, full of adventure. Yes. So. Stay tuned for tomorrow. Don't follow us. Definitely not. Don't subscribe. No. We're not going to be doing any cool stuff in the Philippines anymore. Sure. Don't yeah. don't watch the rest of our videos. Like, we're scared of the cows. We're not yeah, doing anything else. Yeah. yeah. Don't watch the rest of our like videos. Don't comment on this video because we definitely don't want you to. But yeah, catch us <laughs> next time or don't. We are.